I'm sure many ask, why did God put the tree of good and evil in the Garden of Eden? Good question. Because he's God. He can do whatever he wants. I mean, he has his reasons. I know it doesn't say in the Bible, in the book of Genesis, you know, why he put it there. Um, the only answer I have to that is uh, ask God himself why he put it there. And if he doesn't, then I guess it's a nunya. And, um, and if, you're a, if you're a believer, if you're a follower of Jesus Christ, uh, you, we'll all find out uh, when we get to heaven. And, um, well, I will say this. In the sermon I just listened to, uh, which was talking about that, it, uh, it, was, it was about trust. It's my kitty cat. Uh, anyways, it was about trust. If I'm right, I think God probably... Um, one reason why he put the tree of good and evil in the Garden of Eden in the Garden of Eden is, uh, I guess, to, um, for Adam and Eve to see for themselves, you know, if they trust God or not. And like I say, God has his reasons, you know, he, uh, maybe, maybe he put it there because he just wanted to. I don't know. Ask God yourself. He, he did, it, again, it didn't say in the Bible why he put, put that tree, the tree of good and evil in in, in, in the book of Genesis, it doesn't say why he did. No reason. He didn't have to tell if he didn't want to. I mean, does God have to... Hey, Daniel. Did God have to say why he, um, why he put the, uh, the tree of good and evil in the Garden of Eden? Why don't you just trust God? <laughs>